Hello, it's Simon Sutton George from Tenerife Property Group, and today we're in a little village just outside El Rio. Um, it's called La Cicerna, something like that. Really nice little area. Uh, we're about 20 minutes away from the airport, 10 minutes down that way to Abadis, to the um, uh, to the beach down there, something like that. We're even less than 10 minutes in the car, I think. Um, so if you want to be away from everything, absolutely fantastic place to be. But we're just uh, within easy reach in the car uh, of everything if you want it. So this house is a four bedroom house on two levels. Uh, some really lovely views as well. And that's where we're behind us. Let's have a look around. So we came down this drive here. So there's a garage just the other end of there as well, where you can park your car. So that's all included. There's also a little bit of land there as well. Um, and then we come into this terrace area here, and then you've got that nice garden area. And there's a little, tiny little house around there as well. We call it a casita, but we'll just have a look in there in a bit later on. So just down these couple of steps here, and then we're straight into sort of a foyer type area, but they're using it as a bit of an office. So you've got the office there, and then straight in here to this nice dining area. So this is a nice area. It was quite a warm day outside. It's quite cool in here. That's a nice feature as well, that spiral staircase. So let's go straight left here. And this is probably the main bedroom. Probably use this as the main bedroom. So nice size. And then straight out from here, we'll go across here. On the right hand side, we've got a bathroom. Now this is probably the only room that actually needs anything doing to it. Now they spent a lot of time doing this property up. They bought it about two years ago. It's a genuine reason for sale. So, um, so they're going to be selling up. So not everything's completed as they wanted it to be anyway. Their plan was going to be here. They were going to be here for 10 years. Um, health issues had forced their hand to sell. So another nice bedroom here. And there is a little teaser for you. For the view and that terrace there as well we're going to look at that in a second so you've got this bedroom here we've already seen one bedroom there and then there's a i think there's probably oh there is a light there look so you've got a bit of storage area here as well back out here so there's the bathroom that's where we just came in that's the uh, first bedroom we looked at and then you've got the dining area here and a nice lounge as well. So leading straight in from there through the dining. And they've got a, a log burner there. So we're up in the hills. Um, they use that a couple of times. That's a new one. They used that a couple of times this January, just gone. Internet connection as well. I've asked about that because being away from uh, away from the towns, obviously we get left till last. You know, being country sort of properties, but they've got a good internet connection there, so we can explain how that goes if you're interested. So over here we've got microwave oven, loads of storage here. This is all a new kitchen, really nice as well, nicely set out. Four gas ring hob there, and these tiles are new, but they look like they're old canarian tiles they all just coming into fashion again now really nice now let's go outside here this is what they call the breakfast terrace there's a reason for that because this is where they'll have their breakfast clever eh now sun will rise over here look at that view down there right down let's see if we can get you a bit further down there. So on the left hand side, you can't really see with my finger though, the left hand side, all that black there, that's solar panels, and then you can see the windmills down there as well. Really nice and quiet up here. Fab views. There's a little town there. That's uh, the Via Rico there. So right next door to the right next door to the town. And then some lovely views up there. That's the casita that I was talking about. We'll look at that in a minute. And there's some more ground down here as well. And another level there. So a really nice house. 
house was built in about 1970, something like that. So uh, not necessarily modern, modern, but it's not one of the older type houses, so well made. Get back into here, and then we'll go down the stairs. Let's go down these spiral staircases. Now there is a separate entrance to downstairs, so you could, if you wanted to, lock one of the doors down here and have a locker door and then um, then have a private entrance around the back so if you wanted someone to come and stay downstairs friends or family you'd probably leave it open that's the door to close there you lock that um, now then here this door here this used to be a cave well, it still is a cave but they've had it strengthened with, you can see how they've had it strengthened here and then some cement sprayed on it as well so still needs doing and again something else in here as well some more some more area in here as well a nice big area still drying out actually you can feel the concrete still drying out so there's the staircase we've just come down so this door here just leads into This is just the, uh, could use that as an entrance there into this apartment, let's say, if you shut this door. If you lock this door, obviously you wouldn't be going to use that door, but then you'd use the other door that's down there. So, so this is downstairs. So on the left hand side here, this is a room that could be used as a, uh, as a fifth bedroom. We've already got two upstairs, so we'd say this would be, let's say, the fifth bedroom. Nice lounge here. Nice mirror. Totally, as I say, totally separate. Got its own toilet. Lights on. Its own toilet there. And then through this archway here. On the left hand side, this is just a little storage here. On the left hand side with a single bed, but plenty of size, plenty big enough to have a double in there. Big size bedroom, nice high ceilings. Nice and bright as well. This side here, we've got another bedroom. So this is your main bedroom downstairs. Again, same sort of height ceilings. And a kitchen here as well. So it's everything down here to be self-contained. Gas hob again. I don't know what was in there. A little storage. Nothing much in there. And then a dining area. So again, we've come in through here. That's where, the, let's say, the fifth bedroom would be. There's the bathroom. There's the single bedroom. There's the larger bedroom and there's the kitchen so coming here behind us dining area and then out onto this terrace area here so there's loads and loads of terrace areas loads of seating area a little lizard there do you see him <laughs> right so all of this was all just rough dirt and there's another lizard there all of this was just rough dirt and banana when they first came here. So over the last couple of years, they've been doing it up. Some more fantastic views across there. More land, I'm gonna plant trees or tomatoes or grapes like they do around here. Now, this house actually owns down here there's more steps that can go down here there's another level there there's another level there and I think there's another level lower down as well and in fact this property owns sort of half the barranco but it's not really obviously you can't plant much more but you can on these levels here we can go over here up these stairs loads of fruit trees here there's um, 
oranges which are further up there's uh, fig here we've got olives olive trees there there's the orange trees up there fig here so up these stairs and we're back to the house you can see what we got there and we can go through here these are all the, the orange trees here you can see through there and there's a nice seating area just at the top there as well and just up here that's where the um, that's where the pool and the garden is but I'm going to take you this way just want to show you into the this little house here on the right hand side now this still needs work but it could quite easily be turned into another apartment so you can see the tiles have already been bought for this area so that can be easily finished off and this is the house here on the right so a little bit of imagination into a nice kitchen I think probably a small lounge in this room here and conservatory here There would be a connecting door, all of this would go. There would be a connecting door going through from one of the rooms there into this here, through here, and then this could easily be made into a another bedroom. So you'd have your totally independent apartment out here as well. So just to show you, standing back, that there. And then we've got upstairs. Just a place for, well, I think that's the pump room for the swimming pool. And then there's a washroom there. And then the hang your washing up. There's a good view of the, uh, of the breakfast terrace there we were on earlier, looking down. Great views up here. Can get onto the, um, onto the roof but you'd need a ladder or you could have a stairway or something like that put up there but with all of this terracing here it's just not really worth it there's solar panels up there for your hot water bananas here let's go down here and we'll have a look at the garden and the saloon pool so coming through here you can see there's more plants I think that's tomato, I might be corrected, but it's tomato. And then here is a lovely area, really nice. That's actually a water tank there. So that, they pay 11 euros, I think it is, a month. Uh, and twice a month they can use the community, uh, the uh, cooperative water. Fills their tank up, and that tank for the next two weeks just waters all of the plants and the flowers in this area up here and further down where we've already been. So nice pool here and a really nice nice chill out area and still those fantastic views there as well. That looks just right for today. Just have a quick look round here what they've done is they've built this all of this stuff here and then the plants are growing up so give that a few years that will look really really nice going down here down into this nice seating area and then going back down there back to the house and well, that's where we were earlier down there. 
So it's our four stroke five bedroom house uh, with the little casita there that could be developed into another apartment, something like that. Um, in just just uh, next door to Villa Arico there, just up the road from El Rio, which is further down the road there as well. If you want more information about it, then go to tenerifepropertygroup.com or you can email me at simonsg at tenerifepropertygroup.com. So that's me, Simon Sutton George at Tenerife Property Group. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.